So it's been a while since I created a video of my uh, Wii U CPMEs and yeah, as you can see, I finished my wiki with all Wii CPMEs and all Wii U CPMEs, but now I'm thinking of changing it a bit because there were some Wii U CPMEs of mine that just kind of made me want to change them a bit. Like they weren't really that interesting. So, I decided to mix it up a bit, give them a little redesign. Also, this was inspired by Kozaku and Libra games. At first, I was, like, hesitant to the idea, but looking back at my Wii U Super Needs, there were some that needed a change for a bit. So, I decided to recreate 18 of my uh, Wii U CP Mies, and I'll tell you why I gave them a redesign. And, uh, yeah, let's get to it. So first redesign I had to go with was Shiyoki. She just got in a different hairstyle and the reason why I gave her this new redesign is because she she looked way too similar to my other Wii U CPME, Aubrey. Like, way too similar. The only difference with Shiyoki was her eyebrows were down and she had a bigger mouth. But I needed to change her look a bit. Just so y'all know. All right. The next redesign I had to go for was Jack. He just kind of looked way too similar to Oscar. And I decided to give him a little bit of a brush. Or, you know, an, a different hairstyle. And, I mean, he did keep it the glasses after all. But I just needed a different design for Jack. Just looked way too similar to Oscar. This was one of the bigger changes that I really wanted to do. Julia was one of them. She looked way too angry. Like, she looked not very good at all. Possibly one of those me's I disliked. Now, she she doesn't look too mad anymore. So, I'm grateful for that, that I, that I changed her. Thank God. Maddox also got a new redesign. He looked way too similar to Saburo. So, I decided to give him a bit of a change in pace. He might have kept the uh, nose, the eyebrows, the the same, I don't know what, what it's called, but possibly face marks and the same head shape. But all in all, I think it was a pretty big change. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Victoria also got another change. I just really thought her old look was not that good in my opinion it kind of sucked so i just gave her like i want her to smile this time along with another character i'm going to talk about that's kind of different from victoria but also kind of didn't really smile a lot yeah you know, she still keeps the same head shape the same skin tone the same eyebrows and that's about it all right, Brody also got a huge change. All I changed was the eyes. He got a mustache, the mouth. That's back then when I made Brody, I was just really lazy. But now, looking back at it, Brody needed to look more creative in my opinion. So I'm sorry, Moises. I think I might have ruined Brody for you. But in my opinion, I think Brody looks much better now. Heidi also got a, a new change. I just thought her look was just kind of weird looking. She might look a little similar to Helen. But, you know, I thought it was worth it. She looks way better than Helen, in my opinion. Hands down, she looks way better than Helen. I gave her a different mouth, a different... Mm, a different nose, different eyes. She did keep the freckles and the uh, glasses. But yeah, all in all, I think Heidi got a, a new change. New change of pace. Kavali was another change that looked way too similar to another CPMe, Takumi. And I thought that there was no way he was going to look Italian like that. So I just gave him, you know, a different look. 
had to change his head shape first off. But unlike Jack and Maddox, Cavalli's probably the only CPME that I changed the head shape. His nose stays the same though, and he still has the same face marks. Everything else, the eyebrows got repositioned a bit, but everything else looks way different. Chihiro didn't really change that much. Her eyes were a bit too big though. I had to change the nose and the mouth. The eyebrows got repositioned a bit. All in all, I think this is probably not the greatest change, but I thought it was worth it. Archie also got a new change. I thought his old look was pretty bad. I, I didn't really think it was that good. Like, really not good. So I just gave him like a blush, some face marks, had to make him, you know, look better than his old version. And honestly, I hope it worked. This one was honestly a pretty hard change, but then again, Serenity's eyes looked way too big. And it was the it was the bad kind of eyes that I didn't want to be with. I wanted her to look kind of different, change the mouth and the nose, or no, not the nose, the eyes, the mouth mostly, they were just way too big. And her eyebrows didn't really fit anymore to me. So I changed it to those. I know people might have mixed feelings about Seth's new change. But Seth was also a character that frowned in the old version. His mouth was similar to Shinta, Ursula, and Ryan's mouth. But I decided to make him smile now and gave him a bit of a change. He has shorter hair now. Eyebrows and nose stayed the same. He's got some facial hair this time around. And yeah, his eyes also look very different. Grace was one of those me's that looked so boring in my opinion back in her old views. Like, so boring. Like, I did not like Grace and, I mean, I did not like Grace's old look. I did not. I thought her old look was so boring. Like, not interesting. It just looked horrible. Probably one of my least favorite old looks by far. Now she looks way better this time around, in my opinion. This time I gave her lips and changed the eyebrows and the eyes and the hair. Also gave her a blush. I didn't do that in the old version. But yeah, all, all in all, I think Grace around this time looks technically better than her old version. Grayson also got a uh, new change in pace. He got a different, different style now. Hair cut, he now has a trimmed beard and has a mustache still but his eyes and eyebrows changed as well, and his mouth is not a straight line anymore. So yeah, all in all, I think Grayson's change was pretty good, in my opinion. Amy also got a new change this time around, and I thought her old version just looked weird, like really weird. So I just gave her a bit of a new change a bit. So yeah. Not much to say about Amy, anyway. This is the last me that looked way too similar to a CP me, Tommy. Damien looked way too looked kind of similar to Tommy, except just shorter hair. This time around, I just gave him a bit of a change, like eyebrows and eyes and mouth, and then just a beard and longer hair. So, all in all, I think. Maybe that's the only time I'm gonna do that. Wait, what? Okay, I'm not making any sense, but Damien also got a new brush off. So, these like Jack, Maddox, Cavalli, and Damien have changed because they look too similar to a CPU me that's already in the Wii Sports Resort franchise. All right, and our last female that got a new change was Eliza. Her old design just kind of looked like a male for some reason to me. 
I don't know why, but it did look like a male for some reason. But now she looks more like a female this time around. And honestly, I think she looked pretty better. And our last male me, and our last me that got to change overall was Callum. Callum's old design sucks. Like, really sucks. I, I was really dumb making his old design. Now it just looks like he looks like an old man this time around. And I think he looks much better compared to his old design. His old design literally sucks. But this time it's it's not as bad anymore. Maybe I still won't like Callum, but oh well. Uh, at least he got a new design. So yeah, that in the end, I, let me know if it was either improved or worse, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.